mysterious sound leads search team to a lost six-year-old boy and its source leaves everyone baffled we all know what an ordeal it can be for a parent if their child goes missing unfortunately a family living in blunt county tennessee had this unpleasant experience when their boy caden leach vanished from the home april 23rd 2018 at 6 p.m more or less they started to feel despondent and presumed the worst consequences the whole community of blunt county was compassionate and came to their rescue aiding the search and troops finding caden they left no stone unturned in their search and when the 22-hour search operation ended everyone was electrified by what they witnessed as caden had company Caden Leach, a playful and friendly six-year-old, loved spending his time outdoors and happened to be a mischievous kid, much like any other kid of his age group. Born and raised in a small community known as Top of the World in Blunt County, Tennessee, his parents were protective of him, but they let him play outside as long as he didn't roam too far from his place. One of Caden's favorite pastimes involved playing with animals. He had a soft corner in his heart for pet animals and loved playing with his adorable dog, whom he called Chula. Chula was a black and white terrier and Caden would usually spend his evenings playing with Chula outdoors He would always make it back home in time, but one evening it didn't happen to be the case On the evening of Monday the 23rd of April 2018 Caden's parents were expecting him to be back home until 6 p.m. Like always But their worries grew when that didn't happen Initially they thought that Caden would be somewhere near their home But when the clock ticked away and no sign of Caden appeared they eventually decided to call James Lee Barong, the Blunt County Sheriff. Protecting one's child is a natural trait associated with parenting. A parent could go to any limit to make sure their kid's in a safe place. There's no denying that missing one's kid is a dreadful experience. With passing time, a parent starts thinking about the worst future outcome. Every passing minute adds up to their worry, and they're willing to give everything away to have their kid back home. Caden Leach's parents were stuck in a similar situation as their six-year-old suddenly vanished on that evening in April 2018. They were unable to figure out how he disappeared and where he could possibly be. It was completely unforeseen as Caden was aware of his curfew and he would always make it back home in time. The sun was about to set and it was getting cold outside. Caden's parents were tensed for the boy as he didn't have any warm clothes on. Going by the rules, one must wait 24 hours before reporting a missing person, but that didn't imply on a six-year-old missing in a small community. There was not much time left to sit around and waste. The sheriff immediately filed a report and released an alert for Caden. The Tennessee Bureau started their investigation within an hour by releasing an alert at 7 p.m. The alert contained Caden's description that was reported by the sheriff asking the community to aid in finding the kid. Caden's parents described him as four feet tall, weighing around 27 kilograms, that's 60 pounds, having blue eyes and brown hair. They also gave a description of what he was wearing at the time. He had gray sweatpants and a black t-shirt on. When releasing an alert couldn't help much, the sheriff launched a large-scale rescue mission. An army helicopter was recruited to patrol over the woods and search for Caden. In addition to it, a ground operation was also conducted with 100 volunteers covering 2,000 acres of mountainous area. Numerous ground forces were appointed to search the area that included Blunt County Sheriff's Department, local fire department, the search and rescue team of Blunt County, the TBI, and the FBI. All the troops banded together to find Caden as soon as possible. The spokesperson stated that the teams won't rest until they find Caden. The local community also offered a hand when they got to know about the whole thing. They couldn't just sit keeping hands in hands while there was a child out there struggling for his life. An I pause message was broadcast by the community's emergency services just a couple hours after the incident to alert everyone about the situation and update them with time. Every possible way that could get them close to Caden was being utilized. In addition to the I pause message, an application named Next Door was used to circulate the messages. Nextdoor is a platform that provides neighborhoods with their own private social network. Although some individuals were unable to help directly, they did make sure they were part of the process. The top of the world community made collective efforts to find Caden. For instance, a local volunteer got a phone call regarding Caden's disappearance when he was coming back from work. He added straight to the mountain to check what was up. We're a tight community and we try to help everyone, he stated. 
When Megan Kessler heard the news about Caden's disappearance, she used her own resourcefulness to provide the volunteers with food and water. We're not among the first 100 volunteers who could search, so we did what we could. We brought coffee and chili and basic supplies that were helped to the search team. It was made sure that every resource that could get Caden to the earliest was put to use. The Tennessee Endangered Child Alert went into Facebook and posted a picture of Caden, which was further shared by WBIR Channel 10. The post included Caden Leach's description and details of what had happened. More than 2,000 people shared the post that sent out a clear message. Everyone banded together to find Caden as soon as possible. Caden was nowhere to be found. He was out somewhere, and what awaited was a dark and cold night. There was a possibility that Caden might suffer from respiratory infections, as he didn't have any warm clothes on that could be lethal for a boy as young as Caden. The situation demanded quick actions and results. The search was still on, and the rescue teams targeted a radius of a half a mile from Caden's home. The search teams had to wait until morning to expand their search into the mountainous area. It was natural for Caden's parents to be worried. They were blaming themselves for allowing him to play outdoors. It was only a matter of time before they'd find Caden, safe and accompanied. They were determined to find Caden. The rescue teams were working day in and day out. Not only that, the Blunt County community would help by disseminating eatables and water bottles to the rescuers. They knew that a six-year-old wouldn't have gone far away, and they were not going to rest until they found Caden. It had now been hours, and Caden's parents' worry was growing with time. They were thinking of the problems that their little son was having, starving, being frightened and lonely. Finding a six-year-old boy in the woods was not a walk in the park, but it was much easier to search for Caden during the day. The search teams contemplated and came up with new ideas, praying that Caden was okay. The morning time went by in a flash, and Caden Leach was nowhere to be found. The clock was ticking, and they had to make the most of the daytime, as the night would only aggravate the situation, both for Caden and the search teams. The search teams were not willing to give up anytime soon, so in an effort to find the boy before the sun sets, they now started reassessing their methods. Caden's parents were now questioning themselves if something more gruesome had happened to their son instead, the likes of which they'd never witnessed in their community. Caden was still missing at the time, and there were only a few places left to look for him. Even the sniffer dogs couldn't track Caden, and it appeared as if he'd vanished into thin air. The possibility of Caden falling into the lake and drowning wasn't ruled out either, but that didn't turn out to be the case with him. Fortunately, the ground search was still on, and the Black Hawk helicopter patrolled over the area. They also searched the abandoned buildings to look if Caden went in there the other night looking for shelter, but nothing seemed to work. When the conventional ideas were not giving them the result they'd hoped for, the rescuers tried getting into Caden's mind and starting to think as a six-year-old missing kid would. They were now searching the places they wouldn't have before. They didn't realize it yet, but they were only a step away from finding Caden. There was only one place left where the search team had not been, and if they couldn't get Caden there, only God knew where he was. The ground crew strenuously searched the other end of the woods in an effort to find him before the sun sets. Just when they least expected, their ears caught a noise that piqued their curiosity. The rescue team started to advance towards the growling noise. As they marched forward and got closer, the growling got louder. Unaware of what they might bump into, they started chasing the sound. They had to figure out the exact place where the growling came from, and by the sound of it, it could be a dog. At the same time, it could be numerous other things as they were in the middle of the woods. The rescue team headed toward the anonymous growling, and they eventually found Caden. They were within their search radius that was half a mile, so they figured that Caden would have lost his track, petrified with fear. He stayed there the entire time. However, what took everyone by surprise and left them astonished was that Caden was accompanied by someone the whole time he was lost. Caden was ultimately found at 3.30 p.m. after a search operation which lasted 22 hours, and as things unfolded, the growling happened to be his black and white terrier, Chula. When the rescuers advanced toward Caden, the dog began growling, so Chula is the protector, stated Jeff French, BCSO chief deputy. Caden sat petrified when he was discovered by the rescuers. When asked if he was fine, he replied, very cold. His skin had turned purple due to the cold and he didn't seem well. The clothes he had on were comparably thin and were not enough to keep him warm through the night. He was also questioned where he lived, to which he gave his address, but his home wasn't the first place where he was taken after being rescued. It was a traumatizing incident, not only for the parents, but for Caden as well. 
He was also away from his family for the last 22 hours or so. Before he could go home, Caden was taken to Blunt Memorial Hospital and was kept under medical scrutiny for some time. The rescuers wanted to ensure that he didn't suffer from post-stress traumatic disorder or any other medical condition. Caden was still under medical scrutiny at Blunt Memorial Hospital when his family announced his return. Initially, no such information about Caden's medical condition or how he disappeared was divulged. In their statement, the family thanked the rescue team and the volunteers who gave their best for the purpose. They also thanked the local authorities who helped find Caden. They expressed their gratitude to all the neighbors and asked for privacy. The last 22 hours were harrowing for the Blount County community, but all's well that ends well. The community rose to the occasion and was as joyous as Caden's homecoming. The news of Caden's return was well received by the media and was widely celebrated on social media as well. A well-wisher took to Facebook and wrote, I'm so glad he was found safe. The community felt an array of emotions for almost 22 hours and eventually when Caden was found, the concerned faces were now relieved. The other families in the vicinity could relate to the situation as hundreds of them were parents and grandparents and it prompted them to give their best for the purpose. The sheriff thanked every single individual who spent the previous 22 hours out in the vicinity, helping them in accompanying a dauntless task. The operation involved distinct squads named the TBI, FBI, Fire Department, Rescue Squad and their own Sheriff's Department. They worked as a team, the fallout of which was quicker results and a successful operation. The bond between a dog and a human is the ultimate bond of friendship. Chula stayed by Caden the entire time and she's the sole reason Caden was able to make it through the night. Everyone was electrified after witnessing this sight and knowing that Chula was Caden's savior. If it wasn't for Chula, who knows if Caden would have survived or not. To everyone's surprise, Chula had guarded Caden for 22 long hours through cold, rain, dark and everything that came their way. Daniel Self, a deputy officer, immediately provided Chula with food and water, considering that she had to bear the same circumstances as Caden and the brave dog could use some help. The search team strenuously searched for Caden for almost 22 hours, but they weren't the only ones suffering. The struggle was real for Caden and Chula as well. They cuddled each other in an effort to keep themselves warm through the night as it rained heavily, stated Caden's parents. They were out in the woods sitting by a tree for the last 22 hours hoping that someone would find them. After finally finding Caden on an agitated Tuesday afternoon, the top of the world community was all over the moon. They were immensely relieved to have Caden back home safe. The whole community was enraptured after Caden was found. These situations are never easy to tackle, but with a community as compassionate, it makes a difference. Though Chula was the protector, it was Aaron Woods, a Blunt County fireman, who first spotted Caden. The boy was only a distance of 10 feet from him when he heard Chula growling. To his right, he could also see a kid along with the dog. When Aaron approached Caden, the little boy responded by saying, Hi. The firefighter defined the moment as the highlight of his career. Caden Leach is back with his loved ones, and he's in the pink of his health, but it wasn't much when he was first rescued. He was shivering from cold and starving when found. The first search team that rescued him offered him a jacket and handed him a Pop-Tart to eat that he finished in seconds. The boy was courageous to have fought hunger and endured the strike of weather for 22 straight hours. There are many missing cases gone wrong that take a different turn. In the US alone, there are 88,000 cases of missing persons still active. Out of the whopping number, almost 32,000 are that of people who are under the age of 18. Caton was fortunate enough to have been found alive and safe without suffering any major concussions. The story of Caden Leach is nothing short of a movie storyline or any fairy tale where his heroic dog Chula protected him through the thin and proved that a dog is indeed a man's best friend. We also can't take away the credit from all the people who united to make a collective effort to find Caden in time. It was well said that where there's teamwork and collaboration, wonderful things can be achieved. Maddie Stepanek